Welcome to the 17th episode of Podcasters Today with Katja Lene, situated in Paris from Talker AI. Welcome, Katja. Hello. Thank you, Hello. Zoran. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to have you. Um, nice. The first one from France, so, but you're not originally from France, right? Uh, right. I'm originally from Bulgaria, but I'm French also, so ah, European. Nice from European, that's it. We're all Europeans. Um, introduce yourself, please. Uh, who are you? Yeah. Well, we know you're Katja Linné, but uh, what do you do? And tell us something about Talker AI. It's the company okay. you uh, you work for and own together with your husband. Yeah. Take it away. So um, I have multiple hats. I'm CEO and co-founder of Talker AI. Uh, this is a French company. Uh, we are both voice and telephony uh, technology company. So we have a technology for um, building easily virtual assistant without any technical skills. So it's no code platform. And I also have another um, big engagement in uh, digital and voice field here in France. And uh, for example, I'm uh, on the board of um, Numium, uh, member of the board. And Numium is the French organization for digital companies which gathers more than 2,300 uh, companies and uh, that represents 85% uh, of, the, um, of the turnover of the digital sector here in France. That is one on, one, on the other hand. And for Numium, I'm, I'm, I'm working, I'm the president of the AI Commission. So we work on uh, multiple um, uh, uh, problems like ethics in AI, uh, label in AI, et cetera. That is one uh, one uh, one uh, uh, engagement that I have, and um, I'm working also. We co-founded um, a French association, um, which uh, name is Le Voice Lab. This is association in the voice sector, and we aim to um, gather uh, French companies and uh, organizations, institutional organizations, and uh, uh, researchers. Uh, in order to have uh, another offer for voice technology in France. So we are now um, uh, building a um, voice uh, platform for voice uh, technology services. So basically, said, I, this is very, very rich, yes. So, you said something about uh, uh, you're involved in the ethics of AI. Yeah. And uh, we didn't discuss this before, but if you look all over LinkedIn yeah. and the news, actually I heard it on the radio yesterday that yeah. uh, um, I didn't realize it was by Elon Musk, but the uh, um, GPT chat, which was launched yeah. uh, over yeah. 1 million users in uh, one or two weeks. It's crazy. Yeah, it's um, crazy. And there's a whole discussion about the ethics of that. And yesterday, um, and, and since you told me you're also in broad, your, your degree is in broadcast journalism, yeah. um, uh, we just, you know, you just told me, um, yeah. there was a discussion just yesterday on the radio about the ethics that if the AI learns from everything that's publicly around uh, on the yeah. internet, yeah. Uh, of course, there's intellectual property there. And mm -hmm. if it uses to recreate, uses that to recreate something else, which is close to that, um, are, is, is the model infringing or would it be infringing on the intellectual property of the owner of the, the website or whatever, or of the file or whatever, um, yeah. without them knowing it's being scraped or analyzed by, by the model? Um, yeah. uh, of course, uh, I imagine the ethics committee is involved in this kind of discussion, it must be really complicated. Um, yeah, I agree. That's a, a very um, interesting uh, issue uh, yeah. from what you, uh, from this um, uh, use of the intellectual property to learn and to, um, uh, to learn and to, yes, and to uh, build another knowledge based on the knowledge of someone else's AIP. So um, what we uh, have done here in France is our um, uh, initiative Ethical AI. I ha we have a platform and a site which is now uh, European, but we build um, methodology um, 
uh, and manifesto. So what we are trying to do is to explain to developers, data scientists, all the people um, involved in the, um, the, the AI um, algorithms or solutions. So to explain them how to do uh, ethical AI. Uh, with ethics, because uh, we have uh, some some concepts, theoretical concepts for to be transparent, to be uh, um, uh, with with uh, security and how to um, be responsible to all uh, human rights. But this is uh, an ethical concept. So we uh, we translated them to the practical uh, re ref like reflexes. So yeah. if I started to build a, a AI solution, how I have to which um, how I have to be my uh, my uh, process to build this uh, algorithm and how I have to to be uh, very careful about the data and all the all the the things we know which but um, but the the, the 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 our our developers are not very. Sometimes they do things and don't uh, think about the the, the the consequences. So uh, about about this AI or another AI that is based on the, um, uh, text or another IP um, based um, files. I think that is uh, we have to be careful, and that is some, some something very crazy, uh, but um, that it has to have a frame and this ethical frame. It's um, this work that we done with six um, six uh, qualities of the ethics uh, ethical AI, and I can I can uh, give you uh, in the end uh, um, a link from this uh, for this uh, website, which is in, in English also English and French. So it's very interesting because it's the practical um, um, advices how to do ethical AI, and I think everybody, not only the AI um, the AI uh, guys, <laughs> uh, have to to have in mind, but also. Um, um, everybody in the companies that they want to to build solutions they have data so we have to to very very carefully think how we do that so we have oh, data we have algorithms we have okay i have my my brief for my my solution but uh, i can't do uh, everything i want that's not allowed but should it um should it be like a, a european manifesto because um yeah. We're, we're, we're basically, we're under European law, all of us, um, yeah. uh, in Europe, of course. And it would be crazy if every country w would have its own set of rules or guidelines. That means you can never, it's, it's, you know, what you build yeah. for one country, you cannot use in the other country and just translate it. Um, yeah. Maybe it's something to 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 try and, and, and I don't know, release yeah. European mm. world. Yeah, of course. Uh, what we're going to try to do now is uh, bring it to the European level. Ah, I forgot one of my heads, sorry, <laughs> but I forgot one. How can I, could I? Forgot, I'm expert on GPI and GPI is, you know, it's the global partnership on AI. Okay. And I uh, I am in the, the group uh, called uh, Commercialization Innovation. So, uh, of course, we try to bring all the tools we have in France and in other countries to bring them to the, uh, international level of course that uh, that makes sense and so uh, on the ethical ai um, initiatives with the tools uh this is a guide for, for for doing the practical ai ethics and uh we're going to to propose this uh, this uh, this um, uh, this uh, this uh, platform in the european level because we think it is the first step uh, to be prepared for the, the the reglementation and AI Act, who is coming in the 18 and 18, 18 months, I don't know, for 12 the or Union. 18 months By the in the European Union. So ah. we uh, we are very happy because uh, I know that ethical AI and the uh, AI label, this is uh, the second um, um, uh, step, is to to prepare companies to uh, to have this AI. Uh, to in order to be prepared for the AI Act, 
because mm -hmm. AI is a more more it's a regulation, you know. But first of all, you have to do some some preparation uh, work. Do you foresee that uh, with, with the knowledge you have now, that a lot yeah. of companies will have to change their algorithms in their AI with, with the new regulation coming? I think I think it's a good thing uh, to, in order to standardize. I think it's an English standardize things because um, uh, I know that is all, um, for now all companies are auto regulated. No. Uh, of course, it has to be a regulation like GDPR. But why? Because, because if we don't do that in some way, we uh, open doors for, I don't, I, I don't say that uh, chat GPT, chat is uh, bad or uh, some, probably uh, they respect, uh, I, I didn't have the, I don't audit it yet. Well, but, what uh, I heard, what I heard on the radio yesterday is that for instance, uh, um, that they already, uh, th th there was some question about a, a book that if the, the AI or GPT yeah. uh, chat could write the next book of a certain writer and then it responded because yeah. it, it would have access to the text. It responded that, uh, no, I can't because I would be infringing uh, intellectual property, blah, 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 blah. Of course. So they, they manually put something in there to block that, uh, yeah. to make sure that it, it's not being abused, which is interesting because so the, the, you need some human interference in the AI. Of course, always. To, to set boundaries. I, I think that we need always um, human interference to, uh, we are very, uh, yeah, to, to, have, uh, to have machine learning or deep, uh, deep learning for, uh, to learn and to uh, create a uh, new knowledge based on the, with some, some, data uh, that is okay but um i think uh, we have to have a control control which is the base of which uh, which is the data because because if we're not sure that the data is okay clear not uh, a um ap uh, ip sorry uh, stolen IP property, stolen um okay that uh, one one only one page it's 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 not it's not good <laughs> All uh, the, say, all so the, so uh, what what I see happening is that AI should have uh, below. Yeah, of course, there's an algorithm; it does something. But when it yeah. presents results, it explains uh, where it got, how it got to that result, and where it got the the information, yeah. so that uh, as yeah. a human you can judge. Okay, this you know this is on the on the border of what we can do or cannot do, and judge whether it's suitable to bring out there. And sort yeah, of explain, like, uh, explain is one of the yeah explain is one of the quality of uh, a ethical AI uh, in the manifesto. Uh, I, uh, yeah, in, in the guide and the manifest. A manifest is it's only the the engagement to do. I I'm aware that I have to to be a, to pay attention and I want to start uh, to to pay attention of the six qualities how to do better. It's not. It's uh, it's very volunteering and and only auto regulation. And that is good to have auto reg regulation for the for for the beginning for the be beginning. Yeah, but eventually we know there will always be companies that uh, will not do it. Yeah, and yeah. so eventually it will turn into a law that is, like GDPR and that you have to that's, do stuff. That's right. And it will be regulated, that's right. which does. Uh, it would limit innovation on the one hand. On the other hand, it would bring in some safeguards against nasty yeah, stuff, which is also happening by AI. But I, it, I know. Uh, yeah, sorry. I, I, I find it interesting uh, what's happening, um, and and that brings me to the question: What is the the, the current level of implementation of chatbots and chatbot technology and voice bots in France? Because yeah. Um, what we, you know, of course, I'm situated in Holland, and uh, we know the situation in Holland. Uh, but it's sort of hard to discover uh, what the situation is in the different other yeah. countries. Of course, we see a lot from America. So maybe you can can tell me, also connected to yeah, the AI, because right. it's a good initiative. Uh, yeah, what's happening? Of course, there? what's happening here in France? So we're, uh, I think, uh, because because uh, we benchmarked. Uh, a lot of uh, solutions and there is so much uh, very good solutions on the international level level to uh, for bots 
so here in France, we are very creative. So there are some different types of company. We have uh, um, editors like us, for example, they, they, they create and then bring the, their own technology for creating bots. So we are very, in France, we, we like to, to have an alter alternative for the big, big um, editors like uh, our, our friends from, from uh, US. So, um, because, because we have some, some issues, some, some questions um, with, uh, with data. And some companies here in France from the health uh, sector, from the, the bank and insurance, from the, the defense, national defense, they don't want data to be, uh, to be uh, bring uh, on the cloud uh, and to know but, what is the, where is hosting the data. That makes total or, sense. Uh, uh, so, so here in France, we are, we, we, uh, we have these solutions like ours, for, for, for instance, that that uh, um, propose propose uh, propose uh, these uh, these uh, tools to be independent of big editors and to to not to be uh, to not to know where is the data uh, going. So yeah. in France we have uh, some uh, some good good editors for bots, and uh, the, then you have also a category of of. Uh, of uh, Partners, they only brings brings sorry bricks from different uh, editors, and they uh, uh, they do like a puzzle. So this they is don't like system companies. integrators, like yeah. system integrators, like system integrators or company advising companies. Um, and for the bots, um, I think in the friends we are very um, uh, on the voice. That's why uh, that's why we have this uh, the voice lab. We have some companies that very um, concentrated on the voice because uh, in France, 50% uh, of all interactions with companies or organizations by by phone. That is uh, a sector; it is not um, disrupted yet. So we are trying to do that. You know, to to we love to, disruption. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's very uh, marketing like uh, like uh, notion, but uh, I like this because uh, you know this is a, a very traditional way to have an IVR uh, system. Press one, press two. Do you want to access this call center and uh, get annoyed? We are a bank company. Okay, so it's uh, open to nine for, for to to six. Okay, but what I do after? What I do on Sunday on? Saturday, I don't know. So, so we 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 try we try and we do it. Uh, so we 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 improve interactions with uh, with uh, different uh, audiences through virtual assistant over the phone. Also, that is our what we do. It so it's a big market, I think, in the international level because IDR system generated, I think. Uh, um, multiple uh, billions of, of, of dollars. Uh, so Did you see the Gartner report uh, regarding that? Because there was a Gartner report saying that, I don't remember yeah, exactly I know. the percentage. It's I know. a crazy percentage that Finally. they say. Yeah, yeah I know. Is, Finally. is that happening in France too? Is, is that your uh, uh, expectation? Uh, of course, of course. I, I know that is the expectation. We saw it, uh, we started to, to build bots in uh, 10 years ago, but it was the very simple bots, you know, or on the web. And from uh, uh, from tw 2015, we are all over the phone. Our first bots on uh, 2016, but there, the market, there is no market uh, 2016 over the phone. And we build our solution in order to an anticipate and to to have this solution now because now market is. Mm, start to, to frame <laughs> to you know to and we have uh, now uh, um, incoming uh, demands uh, something I, I we use with with my my team to to uh, to acculturate I don't know it's not in English to to create uh, to to explain you know you explain uh, for five years you explain why to, ed to educate, why, to educate. educating the market 
<laughs> we educate and we're still educating, and but now it's something is very um, normal. And COVID uh, crisis was very, um, you know, uh, like a reflection of the what we could do if we had a virtual assistant, because uh, of course. Uh, some picks up of, of, of needs uh, not be uh, could be addressed uh, at the time. Yeah, I, I uh, yeah I agree. And um, so COVID did bring some uh, besides a it lot bring. of uh, misery. It it brought some good things. Misery. Yeah, it brought misery, but also good things, and it 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 made some things that were um, sort of under uh, under the radar. It made it visible. Um, like in Holland, yeah. we we. Uh, um, in the medical field, the, the, yeah. the insurance companies wouldn't pay for digital consults, online consults via video calling. Okay. And within two days, they changed the rules going yeah. from, we don't pay for it, we will pay for it. And now they, they cannot change it back because it's a, it's actually a part of the way they, they organize care now, which is really interesting. Why couldn't they do it before and why can't they do it now? So under pressure, yeah. things are possible. Uh, and if you look at the business case, uh, also for voice, it's it, yeah. besides the first period when you have to invest to build it. After that, yeah. it's it's like uh, it's not about <laughs> making money, but you create yeah. time for your customers to actually solve problems and do stuff better. Yeah, yeah. And, of course, uh, customers is the one thing, but we explain uh, to all organizations we are not trying to educate that this is um, business transformers because they uh, we we um, uh, we free time for another tasks more uh, value tasks or commercial so tasks. you you bring value value time to 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 the companies yeah. uh, i i think the, the the technology is the um in this field is the, the ultimate uh, tool to to create scalability and, yeah, of course. and in and in good times you you can grow without having to hire enormous amounts of staff because that's a problem to find good people and if they do repetitive tasks, it's boring and, and they go to another company. Uh, but in bad times, um, if you're, uh, if you organize, organized yourself, yourself in a scalable way with this technology, you don't have to lay off people because you mm -hmm. have time to focus on commercial activities, make more sales, um, and take care of your customers, et cetera, et cetera. So there's, there's an upside and, an, uh, and the downside and is actually also an upside. Um, that's the way I view yeah. it. And, and that's where the, the education needs to be done to, to the people that are in the companies that they can actually, by investing now, they can make a change in a year or two years uh, and be ready yeah. for a new phase of growth without having to invest huge tons of money in people because they're uh, not there. Yes, yes, of course. You have you have the transformation of, of um, the how the work is done and um, what value you bring to customers. And um, we know that for, for instance, for virtual assistants, we, we do virtual assistant multi-channel. So one, only one bot is, is created and then we going to connect uh, to all, all, uh, all uh, channels. That is so very the, important. So the knowledge base uh, for voice uh, and uh, everything touch is, is common. the same. Everything is common. Oh, it, wow. Oh, everything is the same, and uh, of course you have uh, some um, variation for for the for the wording, but but you 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 manage one one bot. Okay, that is very important. So you can you can offer an omni-channel approach. So when I'm calling over the phone and then I'm chatting with the same company, uh, I'm not going to. Uh, start uh, restart my conversation to explain my problem that is very important in the for the so uh, it's a seamless customer so it's seamless journey. from one channel to the other yeah it's seamless oh wow it's seamless so one channel you can uh, switch in a few seconds and uh, minutes and it's seamless so uh, for improving customer journey it's i uh yeah, it's, it's it's the better and what we think the virtual system bring um another very very va valuable um thing is uh the data and the the, the customer insight because um uh, this is virtual systems are uh, in interface to interactions you know i interact i ask questions and I uh, bring, uh, I collect, uh, I have the collection of all answers. And we think uh, our 
bots are very proactive. We are not like I have a frequent asked questions. I only give you information. No, I can do all the uh, the, uh, the actions uh, to to book uh, to book to pay to do everything I want. Okay, so we think that when you have an interaction with your customers, you can ask questions in order to qualify to have a better insights of for products for services. So we think that virtual assistant bring this um, this insight for customers that it's very valuable to companies to um, to adapt their services and products. So companies are didn't start yet to uh, to um, to exploit this this type of, of uh, angle of virtual system because the knowledge it's the conversation brings knowledge not only the data of uh, the data the cold data that I collect uh, on the screen and the I data you collect when you discuss yeah okay I get it and, and the, the data you collect you feed that back to the model or uh, what, what do you yes. do where, do, where does it stay where does it go? Ah, uh, of course, uh, the data we collected is for a virtual system. It's the data for the company. I okay. I don't use it, of course. Talker don't use it, uh, the data. Well, no, but company. you could use it to train the model of that specific company. Yeah, uh, of course. That yeah. The first of all, that is that. And the second of all, they have um, on Talker, we have on every converse, uh, question, I have uh, um, the possibility to, to set up uh, a KPI or statistics. So if the the conversation with uh, my uh, bot, for example with our virtual system over, over the phone the call bots we call it call bots because it's called okay over the phone we have uh we have statistics on traditional statistics number of calls a number of missing etc but you have also on every question of uh, or or purpose we can have a statistic so you can um, bring this knowledge to your uh, of your customers because nowadays, sorry. No, I was going to say because you... because nowadays uh, on the call center when you discuss with the with the, with your advisor, okay, it's good, but uh, mm, I don't. Uh, we don't uh, write down every every answer and statistic. This is automatic. It's the good thing for uh, robots. It's automatic. During uh, when we when we talked last week, you uh, you, you told me a use case uh, that blew me away. Uh, remember yeah. um, the the one where, um, um, of course, that's a problem everywhere. No shows in medical practices. Yeah, yeah? Uh, it's annoying for the doctor, but annoying for other patients who have to wait. Um, and sometimes someone didn't write it down or put it in their calendar, so they forgot and they want to see the doctor. So you told me that you do outbound. Yes. voice calls with yeah. your bot um, yeah. and the response was I was blown away so maybe you could talk, talk, I find yeah, it an extremely I, I, interesting use case because it, it's a problem everywhere and I was surprised yeah. that the, to how consumers respond to a computer calling them um, and you know and they're actually positive it's very positive I, I explain it. the context is the uh, we do uh, incoming but of course, on the call centers, when the customer is calling, it's a boy, um, virtual system that is um, pick up and uh, qualifies and then answers and then transfer to a human if it's needed. Uh, but then you know, the qualifies, is, I think, 80% of the good job because uh, you, you don't wait in, uh, in 10 minutes because it's already frequently here in France to wait for 10 minutes over the phone and to to wait for nothing, you know, you, you waste 10 minutes of your life uh, and then um, no, no results. That is very frustrating. And for the outgoing um, calls and uh, voice, voice bots, we are very, um, that's for us a very good product that is, uh, it's only, I advise it's only when the company have um, a, um, and contract or a, a relationship with the customer. So when I have they are. already done a yeah yeah I have already ordered and I I want to know where is my delivery where, where, which day, so I can send a, a outgoing the virtual assistant to inform for something. But the best is when you uh, send an outgoing a virtual assistant to 
have uh, uh, an interactions and to confirm the, the presence of the person, for example, the delivery. That, for, for example, is our use case with Total Energy. It, Total Energy is a big uh, energy uh, supplier. And we do it now for two years. That is not uh, something very new, but we know that is on the, um, in production. So I know we, and what's very interesting for Total Energy, it's, uh, it's the person uh, very, um, you know, um, it's the person of some uh, certain age, you know, so where, where the virtual assistant is calling, they call it, yes, madam, I will be there. Sometimes <laughs> even we, uh, we, when we uh, explain well, I'm a virtual assistant, some people don't, they don't understand the, in the, in the, in the, in the interaction that is a, a robot, you know, it's very interesting. And this is a very good, uh, we have a very good perception because people are not offended because they are waiting for a service. And they're waiting to know where the delivery is coming. So that is very good per perception for that. And for the second use case that you mentioned about uh, about doctors and uh, medical appointments, we uh, we uh, we conceived this product uh, which is now uh, in production for all all the type of doctors. Uh, so we are going to. Um, uh, we we automated the of course the we sending the, the the robot automatically every day and we're going to uh, call uh, the the list of all patients yeah uh, tomorrow we, we, do, it, we do it we do it uh, to, uh, a um, 48 hours before okay. so, so we have ahead. time the next day to to replace uh, the people not coming they, okay. they said said to the robot, "No, I'm not. Uh, I'm not confirmed. I'm not <clears throat> coming, because you know, in France, I don't know how it's in Holland or uh, in Europe, but for some uh, specialist uh, doctors, you wait for two months. So uh, you have now. your appointment, <laughs> and uh, in two months, pro probably you have some 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 problems to come to the appointment, and the people don't call. That is very bad." So uh, you have some slots of times they are not um, uh, occupied. So uh, it's waste of time and waste of uh, waste of money and waste of, um, of of everything. It's frustrating for everybody, even for yes, the it's frustrating. It's uh, for some somebody who needed really needed for the peop the person is not coming. So probably he wanted to book another appointment, but. You know how it's uh, persons are very uh, difficult. In fact, what what we wanted is to bring uh, um, zero zero effort. Zero yeah. zero effort and zero no show. Yeah, zero yeah no zero effort. So uh, people um, now sometimes in France you have you know we have a big application and website, but. It is digital, you know, 40% uh, in France, the people are not digital, you know, they're very, oh, okay, I have to go to the app. Oh, okay, I have to click, I have to done three clicks. So very difficult to do the action. I didn't um, think about it. it. They forgot to not to, to confirm the no, no show. So what we do is the call bot is calling the, all the patients and said, hello, I'm the virtual assistant of Dr. Blah, blah. So I'm calling you to to confirm about your appointment in two days, and uh, I uh, confirm to you. Uh, I uh, remind you that your uh, the appointment is at uh, on the address. Do you confirm your venue? Yes. No. Okay. There have some. Don't we have a status of the every every patient have a status? Yes. No. For the person, don't don't uh, pick up the the phone, of course. Uh, we send uh, SMS, okay, the messages, yeah, with a bot in the SMS. So the, the chat same, bot. the same it's... bot is by by uh, by chat. But then so in text. Persons, yeah. So we have uh, one hundred percent of all uh, per, um, patients are on status. Yes, no, I will or I'd like to rebook. So it's very uh, practical. And uh, um, so that must be a great business case also for the doctors. Yeah, of course, we, we uh, now started to, to commercialize it in France because we have uh, some doctors for 
18 months now for in production and now we commercialize it uh, you know um, scale massively it's um because uh, okay we we fr we framed the use case and now we can sell it uh, and just for for information it's not too too expensive it's like a, a message to send a message we did it very very um, commercial uh, on the price also um, yeah, yeah. I, th I think that's impressive and, and that's exactly what I said before about scalability. <clears throat> yeah. This is also about scalability. They don't have to hire extra staff, which otherwise the doctor's assistant, who's then not available for patient, needs to call everybody or send emails or text messages. And uh, yeah, of course. this machine just goes on. Um, yeah, I, I, again, I find that really interesting. And this is, this is the proof that where we're heading, where... Um, making things more efficient, but also uh, um, human friendlier. I think that uh, a bot or anybody confirming an appointment, yeah. making sure they're coming. Sometimes people are not aware or they forgot. Um, uh, it helps and, uh, and, it's, and, it's, and it's not scary or difficult then to say, oh, I need to, to, to find a new date. And then yeah. the bot can help them reschedule, right? Yeah, right. And what is the very important in the end at the end, sorry, that we can um, uh, bring this modification uh, directly on the uh, doctor's agenda. So, the uh, calendar, yeah, <clears throat> in the system. So it's automatically, so we uh, free this time for, uh, but because the doctors have their assistants, that's okay, yeah. but they have much, much, uh, much other things uh, more, more valuable to do that to reschedule uh, reschedule uh, appointment, yeah. Yeah, very good. Um, well, I think th these use cases are, uh, are super interesting and, uh, and valuable. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see a lot of more of this and then combined with uh, ethical AI at some point. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, because um, if, if you think about this, let's say it would be a first appointment with the doctor. Why, yeah. if I'm confirming, why wouldn't I uh, ask medical questions like triage um, mm -hmm. in the same uh, in the same round I'm, I'm, I'm talking to the person and you yeah. ask a few questions and you prepare and, and maybe you yeah. come to the conclusion that oh before I see you you need to take an x-ray or based on data or we'd have to take blood and need to see the results so we can have a diagnose faster or yeah you need to see what you're um, you're right. We did that use case also for another type ah. of doctor, but that is the that is in the same uh, that is a pre pre triage uh, appointment, and uh, we did it for um, a, a type of uh, OB, I think, and uh, another. But what what I ob observe that is um, sometimes. Um, Doctors have to launch and to have to decide to do it. So we have this education to explain them in which way that can help them. So uh, they uh, that not the virtual system that is um, making not replacing the, the doctor. It's not taking not any replacing, decisions. <clears throat> yes, only uh, asking questions and you can pre triage and the, okay, is it a urgent matter? Okay. I'm going to the doctor and that is the assistant, the, the human assistant can uh, assign an uh, appointment. I think the decision is the doctor that is doing the decision. Okay. Well, I, to I totally just agree. just collect the, the, uh, the, the answers. Yeah, because what you see now, if you go to the doctor, I don't know how it is in France and Holland, if you see a doctor um, in an appointment, half of the time they're sitting behind the computer typing in stuff and yeah. you tell them. So why don't ask ask me that beforehand? And it's in the computer yeah. and, and you read it before I come in and that takes yeah. you two minutes. And then, and then yeah. the consultation is maybe less time, but it's more effective. And I get 100% of the attention yeah, of, of the course. doctor. Yeah. Um, you're writing down the idea? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, do you want another another use case? Uh, yeah, go. Use cases? We, we're, <laughs> because of, uh, I, we are working uh, from one year with a, a doctor uh, to... to to create a virtual assistant uh, during the consultation with the doctor. He assists the doctor okay. and write down uh, the, the answers, but on the consultation. And then automatically um, uh, uh, he's, he's trans translating and uh, uh, transcript, 
transcription, yeah, transcription, uh, transcription, yes, uh, to the system, uh, the um, our system, and then uh, the the doctor mm. in the end of the consultation have to only to confirm that the the purpose is okay because you know we wanted to liberate time to the doctor to really listening to the patient because um, uh, this doctor with the, which we we are associated uh, he explained it to us that um, he. Uh, the most time of the consultation, he's writing down, not looking at the at, at the patient, and uh, all uh, he, he do the uh, administrative uh, work. That is very frustrating for him. And at and the end the of, the, of the consultation, consultation, he's ah oh, probably may, uh, I forgot some. So I can forget, uh, of course, some some notions because I'm listening, but I'm taping. That's not. Uh, uh, and we know very, uh, doing doing production. two things at the same time it's impossible yeah. properly so yeah <clears throat> we uh, we i think uh, the prototype is uh, we have one prototype and the next uh, the 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 second release is uh, on uh, the next year but how so, does it work the, is the bot listening in on the conversation yeah. between doctor and patient yeah yeah it's it's, it's, it's assisting and listening and um uh, and uh yeah so basic, and basically the, the patient is in front of the doctor and there's a laptop standing there uh, yeah. a microphone um, yeah of course yes that's right and how that's do right. the patients respond to that because i'm curious uh, of, um, you have to tell them now now I, i'm not i don't want to reveal some 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 uh, confidential or uh, sensitive information, but um, we are now trying to to work on the interface to do it more. Uh, we don't know yet what type of interface we're going to choose okay. because of this type of questions. So we're going to test it and have a bit testing for the interface. Well, if <laughs> you're a bit the questions. if you're a bit further ahead, I'm, I'm you know it's interesting because uh, oh, um, yeah. I think. Uh, this is not just a French problem or a Dutch problem. No. This is an international problem. Um, yeah. the, the doctors have to administrate so much information. Um, yeah. um, and, and again, if you then go back, you have the data, it's written down. Why won't we use AI to help the doctor during the consultation and tell him, oh, here's a list of possible uh, diseases or whatever. Um, That's right. Th think about this uh, uh, and, su and do suggestions, not take decisions, but do suggestions for lab work or x-ray yeah. or medication or whatever to to help them and you know you know the first level only the first level is uh, our evolution now the first level what we do is to collect in what the, the the patient is saying of course the patient is is uh, it's explained that with the simple words you know i have headache uh, i have a stomach ache i don't know then what the the the, the the doctor is saying is to transform the headache in the I don't know cephalus I don't know <laughs> you know and sometimes in the consultation we have to uh, we we're going to have the the two ways of, of purpose to to explain the the problem and then the the doctor is deciding what to to confirm it write down on the on the end of the consultation but we we also have this purpose uh, um, explained by the patient. So this is very rich, like uh, like uh, we can learn about about uh, about how to to ask questions, etc. And the and second if, level is what you're saying. <laughs> but if you then look, yeah, to suggest uh, solutions. But if you then look ahead, uh, this is a discussion we had in our family. Yeah. Um, and I come from a medical family. Um, ah, okay, excellent. Um, no, it's a discussion. Um, that let's say you had a, a blood drawn and it was tested for I don't know, whatever disease or yeah. Um, do you see a future where instead of the doctor calling the patient, oh, we have the results of your blood and uh, you know, I don't know, your infection level was high um, yeah. and you you need to come in because we need to give you medication or whatever. Um, would, do you see a future where? your voice bot or another voice bot calls the patient when the moment the data is in the system, it triggers a, a call and yeah. the patient is called, oh, we, we just have the information in, your uh, XYZ is too high, you need to come yeah. and make an appointment, by the yeah. way, when do you want to come, here are the options. Yeah, but that is very simple. You uh, see that happening, sorry. but do you, do you see Yeah, you, we that? see it happening, yeah. <clears throat> uh, I'll tell you, we didn't discuss about it, but it's very no, no, what you said. Like, with another doctor, sorry, but okay. uh, health is one of our, but another doctor, we, we are launching in another 
uh, here at hospital. Um, another uh, voice bot, uh, how going? That is going only to inform that the results are ready. That is. That's step that, one. Th that that point is oh, okay because uh, some some uh, sometimes people is calling so the the medical <laughs> they're they're picking up the phone though wasting time to to respond. So you're so giving process the, information. Th this process information, but the second level when the voice bot is, is calling to give information personal for now for now I, I don't say in the second time. Uh, we don't do it, but for now we don't do it because they have some uh, very sensitive uh, personal and health information. And cool. some, sometimes when you call the person, you have to verify that is the good person, the, the the person there. We don't, don't don't information about something very sensitive on the wrong person, you know. Yeah, but you could you yeah, could so use, uh, you could use you, you can, methods. Can, but you can. I know, I know, but you know. In order to transform the process, that is the process transformation we're doing. In order to 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 confirm that it's okay for the hospital to have another process that is a long. This is a long process uh, for the functional. Uh, Te technology is possible. It's, it's a technology possible, and we do it uh, easily because the the trigger is very. Uh, it, it is just a rule. Uh, business rule, uh, no, um, I would do it, process rule from the medical point of view. And what the virtual assistant is is, is, uh, is receiving is not just, ah, okay, for this uh, type of uh, um, information, uh, I, I trigger the call. It's, it's, Cause we had it's a, very, the, very easy. Because we had a discussion, uh, the family was divided. Uh, one part said, uh, uh, no, no, I always want to speak to the doctor, especially if it's serious. And the other part said, well, uh, I prefer the doctor to be uh, available for focusing on my treatment if I have something serious. And why should the doctor, this is interesting, why should the doctor deal with the emotional yeah. burden of telling someone all the time, let's say the, the, all the results of everybody that were bad that day, he has to call everybody mm -hmm. and say, oh, you have uh, this or you have that. Um, it's all about us, but what about the doctor? It's an emotional burden for the doctor also to to tell people they're yeah. sick and they're maybe dying. It's a, it's an interesting discussion. We we're not going to solve it's it now. A, but... a philosophy. <clears throat> it's not well, about technology. I think it's philosophy, philosophy like, and, yes, and yeah, ethical. Philosophy and ethical. But uh, I would prefer that my doctor is calling. But the the doctor is not calling to tell uh, over the phone uh, something bad or something uh, weird is happening. Uh, the virtual assistant on the, the doctor is, or the assistant of the doctor is only calling to, to uh, pr pr suggest you an appointment. And that's very easy to do about the virtual assistant. But yeah. the, the, the work of the, the doctor's work is doing by the doctor, I think, on, well, over the consultation. Well, you could also, have, I could picture a, a situation yeah. where, um, in, in the first stage, where the, 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 the bot calls, uh, uh, yeah. especially because the same business rules can say if the results, the, the, the lab results are good or bad. So no. uh, you could have uh, uh, the intelligence behind it saying, okay, if the results are bad, we just, we don't say the results. We just tell, tell you yeah. the results are in and you need to come to the office. We need to discuss this. And here yeah. are the options. Which one do you want? Uh, and if the results are good, you could say, okay, we have the results. No, nothing to yeah. worry about. They're good. You don't need to make an appointment. You don't need any medication. Nothing to worry about. Uh, let's yeah. say it's based on on those. Uh, you could say that based on lab results. Um, I see for a stage where people can be uh, uh, informed really quick and and relatively yeah. cheap and efficient, um, uh, making up free time for the people who actually need the attention who are really sick. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Switch, switching okay, to French now. <clears throat> Sorry, way, exactly. Yeah. No, no, compliments for your uh, for your English, English, because uh, not every uh, French person uh, speaks English. I'm not uh, French. Uh, no, I'm no, not. You uh, said... I, I have French, so. Exactly. Well, that's the, why, the, that's the, why. The, the, the not French half of you speaks proper English, um, but uh, <laughs> we're, we're happy with that. <clears throat> um, and, and if you look at the future of, uh, of uh, a, a little bit yeah. further ahead, that we're already looking ahead, but if you look f even further ahead, do you see, uh, well, no, what, what kind of future do you see for chatbots? Do you, do you see every company introducing 
uh, voice bots, chat bots, uh, um, uh, and not having a choice based on the fact that uh, uh, people are getting older, it's harder to hire staff, people don't yeah. want repetitive tasks, everything is data driven. Yeah. We can make a million arguments why you should do it. But um, do you see that happening or do you think, yeah. nah, um, a lot we, of it? I think we, yes, I think yes, because uh, for us, uh, I speak for all my team, uh, for us, our vision is um, we're looking a few years uh, further. Uh, uh, I think that uh, we think that the future is uh, screenless. 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 So the voice for me, we're going to be uh, one of the interface, of course, mixed with the screen because we have, but, um, you know, you, you can uh, give order on interact with your system. What were you going to do for our, uh, one of our clients, for example, for now, and, uh, it's very known here in France is to, uh, to have a, a virtual system for the system, you know, so, uh, operators can, uh, uh, search information, of course, but what we're going to do on the next level is to uh, give orders to the system, of course. Yeah. Why I have to search? Why I have to uh, uh, to type to my CRM? Why? Why I'm going to? Do, okay, I'm going to research. Oh, give me, give me the results of this company. Okay, show me the 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 the, the benchmark between this client and this client. Or this account, this account. So for me, it's uh, because why? Why? <laughs> because this is easily to to speak. This Are you saying? I, I, let, let me try to understand this. Are you saying that um, um, applications like uh, CRMs, uh, um, like Salesforce, yeah. and that kind of uh, application? Um, yeah are going to be conversational at some point uh, oh, and then yeah. one step up um you're not saying not only are they going to be conversational no, but, but they are yeah. going to be operated by voice um and then um of course you need some screen to present the information uh, to to, yeah, to read it because otherwise it's too much to remember but uh um and do you then also see an integration where you let's say you you talk to an application and it does something for you yeah. and then on screen you see the confirmation uh, um, uh, are these the shoes you want to order and you get the picture in whatsapp of the shoes uh, um, you, you you think you're ordering and you say yes to the to the system or you type yes or you push the button yes, yes uh, and that's it uh, and something exactly. like that you see an integration yeah. like that yeah uh, i see it in the integration like that but because uh, it's very simple for me it's uh, <coughs> It's six six times more uh, faster to speak than to write, of course. Uh, then you have uh, it's, it's uh, the voice is inclusive, okay, for every type of person, every type of um, sociological. Uh, uh, um, if you're illiterate, you can clusters. still order. If you're illiterate you, or blind, you can still do it. Yeah, I, I think it's very inclusive uh, about the society. So digital have divided, yes, very good digital, but you have uh, here in France, we know it. We have um, some some types of uh, the society, some, some types of people of the society that is very uh, on, put put uh, beside- In the, the, in the, the corner the, of society. In the, cor in the corner of society. Uh, so um, it, uh, I have, I have uh, teenagers, you know, and uh, lucky, I'm very uh, glad, sorry? Lucky you. <laughs> lucky me, yeah, lucky me, but you know, that is very uh, instructive. So uh, the, here in France, uh, I, I do voices, I do voice voice messages. And uh, you know, I don't know it, how long, but uh, here uh, we don't talk, tape um, so much, only 40s, 30s, 40s, 50s tape uh, messages. Uh, why I'm explaining over the voice what I want and um, Okay, uh, sometimes voice is not very good because you're probably with people that is not very uh, confidential, but you can, um, but uh, I don't know, 80 times, 80% uh, of the time, it's okay. You can do it better, faster, and I'm going straight to the point. I'm going just ask my, my CRM, uh, uh, give me the, the results. I'm going not to have five clicks and uh, make connect connection and, all, all sorts of, 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 uh, of steps to, to bring information. 
And then um, I'd like to add the philosophical question to that. Yeah. Uh, and I bring that up in every uh, every uh, episode. Uh, yeah. Because it, it turns out that uh, uh, it, it needs work, um, in my opinion, at least. Um, yeah. Do we as humans need to learn how to speak computer? Or does the computer, uh, the large language models, need to better learn how to speak human? That is, if you give a voice instruction to a computer, um, if we stay in voice, would you use preferably keywords, basically computer language, just the, the relevant words like the intents, or would you use a full sentence and then end your intonation with a question mark, not write a question yeah. mark, like, you know what I mean? Um, which one is it? Which one should it be? Because if I look, mm. uh, I'm trying to explain. I will explain, because if you look at the older generation, um, the parents, as we are, um, we probably use a full sentence and uh, we end uh, with the intonation of a question mark or we write a question mark. If I look at my kids, um, they use a keyword and probably your kids too. Mm. Um, yeah. No. You see what I mean? There's a generational yeah. difference. Yes. Okay. They grew up with computers. We didn't. Yeah, of course. Um... I think, uh, well, I'm bringing it to talker, but talker, we, we, we have virtual system that can understand, uh, full sentences and we, we do it, uh, that way. So when people is, uh, it, it, it's very, very funny because, um, uh, we see it like, um, in function of the different type of virtual system, sometimes people say it only keywords. Mm. Uh, a delivery uh, or a commercial uh, purpose. So, because uh, we that uh, the IVRs were only with keywords, you know that yeah. they have just uh, it's it's a uh, it's a uh, influential uh, no it's uh, the, uh, um, that's not the people is uh, talking like this. They think the virtual assistant have to be only on keywords. But if we uh, we explain and if, if we're, te we're telling on our bot on the beginning, please, can you talk normally? <laughs> like a full <laughs> sentence. explain what we want. That is uh, much more difficult, but it is better because um, the people, uh, when they, uh, when you have intention, that's why Talker is a, bit, a little bit different than other systems and uh, because we don't uh, only based on intentions. That's not very interesting for us because for uh, um, for my uh, pay card, for example, I say pay card, pay, pay card. what pay card? I want to rate it. Uh, do you want to lose it? What, what one intention is not enough. It's always multiple intentions. I lost my... Multiple intentions in your sentence. So, so, so it's uh, like I, I think, lost my pay card, or I yeah. need a new one, or whatever. It's not one intention, two intention, <clears throat> on three. Sometimes, uh, sometimes people explain what they want in the second phrase. So, so, and people don't um, don't uh, know what uh, what is your classification of intentions. You know, they think this is the classification of your. That's why so many people are frustrated with bots because yeah. they don't understand. Because, well. Yeah. I saw you. So, I saw a demo of your system and uh, um, yeah. a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I was amazed that uh, uh, it could pick up on multiple intents in one uh, mm -hmm. sentence and and actually yeah. answer all the questions properly. Um, yeah, that was pretty. Uh, that was pretty impressive. Yeah, because we we separated the dialogue uh, to the uh, to the the understanding of the of the of the purpose and we uh, build uh, pre-trained uh, our engine and why because uh, this is very very difficult to um, to start a bot it's to in order to uh, scale <laughs> you have to to do bots uh, from from one certain level but if you start to train intention for, from every bot uh, you, you make, you make, uh, weeks and, uh, and months to, 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 to build a virtual system. So we have to have pre-trained or pre, pre use, uh, um, uh, of course, uh, information and, and functions. So, um, to, to go to your initial question, um, I think we have to 
I think we have to do both. Sorry for this answer. Earlier. No, no, I'm I'm happy you're saying that because uh, I think it's, it's. I would say. You, you cannot start to but which generation are you, you know, and then uh, go left or right. Yeah. It doesn't work either. Yeah. So both. And so, uh, yeah. So I, I think that uh, um, I, I agree, <clears throat> but that uh, <coughs> uh, creates a challenge for a lot of technology because uh, yeah, a lot of the technologies, yeah. it's either one or the other, not both. Uh, you know, um, I think um, I think in the future, <clears throat> and we, don't, we haven't seen it yet, on the international level, um, it's the same. Uh, you know, when you have technology and products and services about it, you have you have to be the the, the movement and structures. And uh, some technology is going to die, the, another going to raise, and um, and uh, we haven't uh, seen it yet. We have to. Uh, we start to see it here in France. Some some companies. It's not. Uh, more in the in the uh, in the field, some other companies raising. So, yeah, the, that is the market going to tell us. Well, I think if we do if we would do this podcast uh, in a year from now, probably it, uh, the landscape looks different uh, in this field, and the technology yeah. will be uh, uh, also different um, and yeah. mu much more advanced. Uh, I think we, it, we will include much more. Uh, AI and language recognition and intent recognition, because yeah. um, my feeling is that uh, uh, the training of the AI with all the intents, it's too labor intensive. And uh, we say it's machine learning, but it's actually human learning because no. there's humans retyping yeah. it. Um, and, yeah. and that's not sustainable. If if all the market is going there, it's it's impossible. It's uh, We don't have enough people to do that and uh, and to do it properly. So yeah. I think there there's automation uh, needed there. I I I have two things I wanted to say it, uh, because I have the the public <laughs> for the room, but um, take it away. Important. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's very different, much very different to to uh, build a chatbot than a voice or a call bot. Uh, voice bot, we, we say in voice bot um, or Google, Alexa, or uh, every IoT because we, yeah. we can we, we connect our bot to <clears throat> every channel. Okay, so voice bot, uh, IoT, there is no another channel inter interference or call bot or, or phone bot. I don't know, it depends. Doesn't on matter where we know what we mean. Yeah, but over the phone, it's when we uh, add. Uh, telecommunication channel, and that is a, lo uh, a lot of challenges because it's not only I say it everything uh, every time, but it's not only to to add um, speech to text and to natural language and then connection to the uh, over the phone. It, ah, it's working. Not, not. It's much more difficult. That's why sometimes there are not very good good results for for some technologies, but it's not very easy. So. Uh, we are working on it, and, and uh, now the challenges is to uh, train conversation, not only train to have uh, to understand uh, intents. So that is the first thing, and the second, very important, I I, I would like to, to tell it. Say we 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 love humans. That's why we do robots. That's all. because uh, here in France, I have al always the opposition of human. Robots. Why? Uh, why? Uh, I, I would like to have a, a human service. Okay, but sometimes I would like just to have the service, and sometimes the human um, uh, waiting the human service for me it's it's uh, it's not good. Uh, and sometimes uh, the opposition of, of it is just not productive. So we will have humans, and we wanted to to uh, free time and to do things more much easier. That, that's so basically that is the, what I the, wanted to, to have. But if I summarize, then basically you're saying that uh, the bots or robots or voice bots or chat bots, whatever, any bot uh, is there to make the life of humans easier and yeah, make the customer journey better and the customer yeah. experience better and, yeah. and lower operational cost eventually because you, you become more scalable. Yeah. No, I, we agree. That's very good. I agree. Um, 
Katja, I think you you have a chatbot ready to test, right? Or did you choose one? Yeah, we can choose it. I, I you, you have, uh, have the link. I, I don't have. No, the you can. Part, so we can. You can do it from your, your, at the bottom of your screen. You see a, a button share, and there you can share the ah, screen. I, I, did, I, didn't, uh, <coughs> ah, I didn't prepare the link. Sorry, 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 sorry. Ah, it's okay. Do you have two two minutes? I don't know. Um, sure. Do you have two minutes? I am going to to search. Sorry. No, that's okay. Um, next time you have it ready. Yeah, next time. Yeah. I told you but, um, that's why. <laughs> no, 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 no. So I, I hope I will, I'll find it. <laughs> right now, do you only uh, uh, is your software only used in 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 France or also outside of France? Uh, is it in France? I um, I used to use it. Um, I used to use it. Uh, uh when i'm on the train i hope he's in online mm, i don't have it no i mean uh, your software your, your platform yeah, is it sorry. only uh, used in france like is it in french or is it uh, international oh. if someone's listening um, thinks oh uh, i want to do things with uh, outbound voice bots um, yeah because because you have very specific technology um, yeah we, we 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 use it um in in different countries and uh, we uh, uh we have have already uh, 11 11 languages uh, but with on, on 11 languages but we can add any language uh, very easily so wow. we we do only uh, also sorry in us uh china we work with lvmh uh, i don't know if uh, i don't know if i said it correctly L -H -V -M. L -L -L the luxury oh, yeah. brand, yeah. the luxury brand. Yes, yes. I got yes, it. Yes, we, we have a, a bot, for, for instance, um, in uh, China and in US. And uh, for other type of, of uh, companies in uh, Belgium, Holland. But uh, this is the, um, uh, it's not, um, it's a French company with, uh, with multiple uh, products in these countries. I get Italian, it. Italian, Spanish, etc. Yeah. Yeah, but that opens up possibilities for you to, to supply your uh, software in other countries. Yeah, but now we start our uh, our export, so we we hope that's, a, be have, that's uh, a beauty of software, right? Export is yes. like uh, <laughs> just go to the internet exactly. and uh, and buy. Ah, um, you no. find the uh, you work yeah, on Yeah, I didn't find it. Person. Sorry, uh, I don't. Um, I don't know if I can do pause or. But you needed um, a chatbot of SNCF, the train. Right? Yeah, I needed, but I I don't find it right now. Well, you can. Uh, did you Google it, chatbot SNCF? Yeah, I can. I can Google it. This is the more known in here in France. That's why. So, so this problem number one is a chatbot that's hard to find. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ah, yeah. You got it. Uh, wait, wait, wait a moment. Ah yes, I have it. Mm. Okay, let's I let's bring it. it on the screen. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I I am going to uh, share. share 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 where share. It's underneath. Share, but well, it's it's right right down. Yeah, share. Ah, okay. Net. Uh, tag. Uh, there we it's go. Okay for you. Yeah. Assistant well, virtual. Yeah. Ah, the TGV, SNCF. I'll, I'll translate in English, uh, <laughs> so you can focus on um, typing. Um, yeah, says, uh, yeah. What, yeah what's okay, it? I, what, what, did, did it have a name? So TGV, SNCF is for the train, okay? TGV yeah. is uh, the, the... The high-speed train. The high-speed train, yes. Train grand vitesse. Train grand vitesse, yes. Um, so, okay, so uh, let, let me read what bonjour, it what hello. says. hello. Yeah, hello. I'm your bot TGV uh, train uh, high speed in We, your companion of traveling. Okay. Uh, uh, before to start to discuss together, could you please um, accept the condition of use? Okay. Well, you can click here and and uh, and uh, get read, to read. read it. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then read. it says a uh, thumb up. Uh, I accept. Yes, I accept. I accept. I accept. No, I refuse. refuse. 
yeah <clears throat> so uh ah here down uh, i'm going to you have uh write down your message but okay. i think that first of all we're going to accept it yeah uh thank you and... for uh, accepting it that, that allowed me to discuss with you um i i understand uh more more uh, easily uh, cur- uh, short messages there you go this is uh you know that it, it, it wants keyword yeah uh, uh in order to better uh, help you i invite you to ask question uh dire- uh complete okay. uh, and direct or direct the uh, uh, question uh for example uh how to uh, change my ticket my train ticket and of course you can uh, you could also navigate uh, uh on the sub- so it's, it's double double uh, double um, uh- I like that. Entry, so yeah, uh, text plus for, buttons. Uh, text plus buttons. I we also in the virtual uh, in the conversation of design we also um, do that in order to not to, to frustrate and to for some people they're very uh, they're very uh, speed so they can do um, you know uh, quick it's, 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 you go quickly to whatever you're looking for. Write down. Um, yeah. Um, can I can I ask one question? You, uh, Hold on, hold on. Yeah, That's we're going to ask one question. Uh, what I know, I'm going to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. If you look ah, at this, me. it says it says here, um, um, I easily understand short messages, but then right after yeah. that, you have to ask a complete question. So I, yeah. I, I, I find the, that con- contradictory. You tell me, okay, use keywords, and then, by the way, but write a sentence. Okay, I'm confused now. What do you want? Yeah, from I know. I, uh, oh, uh, that is my... my, my uh, my thought was uh, the same. I think why why these two uh, two contradictory uh, um, uh, yes notions uh, which so which is the which is the which is the the, the right. So I don't know. <laughs> um, so what I would be interesting is uh, it's um, basically SNCF is a mobility company. They sell yeah. mobility. So let's ask them if we can rent a car. Let's see how it handles. Uh, but only the train. This is only the train. I know, but th- that's, why we, yeah. that's why we yeah, asked them if we can rent a car <laughs> and let's see what happens. Uh, we, um, uh, so you put in a text. So now we're asking, can we, Sorry. can I rent a car? Well, the first uh, in the first podcast uh, we had a, a bank, and the first remark of yes, of, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, he answered. Uh, um, this is actually good. You, uh, you can uh, use promotions to to um, rent a car from uh, one of our partners. To rent this a is... car from uh, from our partners, so we can ask. It's good. Do you want? Okay. Well, well, we understand reserve. you can reserve a taxi or a shuttle. Yeah, you can reserve. You have uh, also taxi here. Yeah, which uh, I find so, a kudos, yeah. compliments for SNCF, because yeah. uh, your mobility company, you come to a station and then what? Um, let's say you go skiing, you arrive in Lyon with the, with the train. Yeah. Uh, well, usually yeah. you can go further, but uh, uh, and the rest of the, 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 the trip, you need transportation. I think they, did, they do a good job here. Because they solve yeah, my I problem. Yeah, I think it's a very good. Uh, yeah, all the mobility uh, field is covered. Uh, additional uh, services, not uh, not uh, TGV, uh, not uh, not the train, but that is good. I think it's very good. Yeah. Uh, for for that for that matter, it's okay. I think it's uh, good. Okay, let's so ask another we, question. Um, uh, I can said uh, I would like to to book uh, a, a journey. <laughs> Do you know uh, what happened yeah. also? Um, yeah. If you look yeah. at the the, uh, the moment you asked if you could rent a car, the buttons disappeared, the choices. So you can't go back uh, or to... I, I to think a... they, they, uh, we can try it. So what are you going to do? Ah, it's another, another um, uh, window. It's opening, but uh, yeah. No. Yeah, because and, the uh, chat, and, and here's the problem: yeah, the chatbot doesn't go with. See that? No, 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 no. That is not in the frame. No, no. That's uh, what it was. Be good is to have an in frame in the in the bot uh, in the bot uh, field here, or, ne- or the bot tra- book in the in the in the bot. 
What do you or mean? if you don't do that, that the bot co goes yeah. with to the next uh, uh, page. <laughs> yeah. So it stays there. Yeah. But what I also see is that the, the buttons we had before, where you had all these different yeah. choices, uh, they disappeared. Yeah. So you, you, they disappeared. So, um, um, and you, you, you can't, you can't, uh, go to the menu, previous menu to restart or, or re re redirect your, um, uh, sometimes we, we, uh, the menu is always here for, for our chatbot, local chatbots. We, we, we keep the, we keep the menu because sometimes people, uh, how, how I, I restart my conversation or I switch the, the direction. Okay, let's ask the here. let's ask the bot something else. Um, yeah. Um, um, yeah. Maybe uh, departure and arrival times. Uh, what time? Which, uh, what, what, is my what is my train of... on time or something like that? Ah, uh huh. Uh, okay. And let's see if it uh, transfers you to the. Uh, um, schedule because uh, there's the regular uh, I, schedule and there is the actual schedule so uh, i ask uh if my train is on time uh, i i'm going to to wait um answer uh it should ask what which, is your, which train <laughs> yes yeah. which train so uh, we would like to know ah uh, uh, Ah, uh, ah, okay. That's not bad. Um, please, uh, choose, um, a way to, um, to Get find your information. your information train. Okay. So, uh, first choice is, uh, your, um, voyage, your journey Travel reference and, yeah. and this is my, my ID, my, my ID, because I have ID when I book. Okay. So, yes, have, uh... I think it understands and I offer two ways to to find my, uh, my train. That is I pretty good. I don't have good. it, so I can go further, but I think it's good. Very, um, uh, now we want to book a train. Yeah. Uh, let, let's say we want to book a train to a ski resort. I don't know, name one. I don't know where the, the Teixeira goes. Uh, um, Chamonix? Chamonix. Okay, let's go Chamonix. to Chamonix. Okay. We're going uh, to Chamonix. Uh, there. Uh, oh, okay, we go. I think that you, uh, you made a typo. Yeah, I, I saw it, but, uh, ah. um, okay. It that's, is, uh, okay. I think, uh, now he, he preference. No, 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 I think, he, uh, I didn't think put in the, the bot is so thinking, that... yeah, I think Same. this didn't understand. He, he think that I'm, uh, my, my train because it's in the previous context. You know, I wa was it not? It's my train is on time, and then I I I, uh, I talk about Chamonix. Uh, I think it's uh, understand or detect detection of the intention of the of the town. So we think I'm going to uh, my my second question referring to the previous. I think. So it should but be the, the same. So we, let's change the question. Uh, I want to yeah. reserve uh, a train a ticket on the train to Chamonix. Then it should should either refer you to the reservation uh, uh, page, or uh, ask you which date, how many people, which class. Shaboni. X. What? Say it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> ah, okay. I'm not. Uh, I'm not in charge of the reservation. Okay, this is only companion of chat. It uh, can't re uh, do reservation. Don't. But it, uh, so it refers you to the. Yeah. yeah. It refers you to and the. I, uh, they, they, uh, I, this is the reservation uh, to the site to 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 book. Okay, that is not so, uh, booking, yeah. uh, but. No, but uh, what it does is, is uh, like the one before with the mobility, it does yeah. understand your intentions and it helps you yeah. uh, directly to where you need to go to reserve the ticket or yeah, 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 <clears throat> yeah. So that, 
I'm, I'm, I'm actually, it's not that bad. It's actually quite good. I, I think it's a good job. I, I think it's a good job for, for a companion and understanding the, the intention. Of course, um, yeah, I think it's good. And the last one is uh, really the, the impressive. Version. It's really commercial Sorry? because the last yeah. message it sends, it's really, it's really smart. It says, uh, once you have reserved your ticket, uh, I can inform you about uh, your travels with uh, the TGV. Um, find me on Facebook Messenger, sncf.com, yeah. uh, or the portal of uh, TGV Nui. Um, and then you have the buttons, whatever you, uh, you know, yeah. with uh, uh, yeah, yeah. the different options. I think it's very, um, yeah. It's very good. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's doing the job. It's doing the job for, for this. But I'm very frustrated because it's not going, don't, going much further than just uh, uh, redirecting to the to the existing uh, pages or but uh, okay it, uh, i don't know what is the <laughs> the value the well the, it's information but uh, uh, do you know how long this bot has been around is it it's an old one or a new no, one uh, uh, multiple years yeah okay so yeah, you would years. expect if it's multiple if it's there for multiple years you would move on yeah. and, and uh, yeah, I think uh, probably they, yeah, probably they are now trying to 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 enrich, enrich it. Probably it's, it's the case, but uh, I think that doing the job, but uh, it could be more, more, more um, person. I think uh, what is going to be, I would, I would start it to, I'd ID the person it's talking because uh, in. I, I, I know that uh, where I'm going to uh, to give information virtual assistant, uh, it is very personalized. And what the virtual assistant is, uh, can do better is to be um, on the communication of the personal information. Uh, you know, now I, I see it, uh, probably uh, this type of, of bot is very difficult to, to bring to the next level, but when we do uh, just bots to give uh, general information, that is the bots of uh, yesterday, the bots the, of tomorrow. It before so yesterday. When per <laughs> it's personalized. It's for me. They know that I'm Katya, you're Doron, and uh, I am ID very quickly, very... And uh, when I'm asked question, it's my answer for me, for my case. I, so tot I, I totally agree. Yeah. And, and another that thing... That's very frustrating for me. And one other thing that I now, if I now look at it, um, if they would start their bot with um, basically, there's a few basic options, which the things you can do in this bot. Uh, yeah. If they would start the, uh, saying, you can use me only for this, this and that. If you want some one of these, please click here. It's another bot or another website. Then you manage expectations and you, uh, you don't get to find out somewhere yeah. down the line that it actually can't help you directly. So yeah. if I would make an improvement, I, I, agree. I, I would take all the options way back up. First thing I say, these are the options. Which one do you want? Mm -hmm. Oh, your option is not, the, it's not there. Yeah. And I cannot help you, uh, period. And yeah, then... of course, you know, uh, this is the, the strategy we use or over the voice, because when you start, you can, uh, you can, um, uh, you, you can't ask, uh, uh, you can't uh, ask people to ask you some question and this, no, I'm not uh, responding. So you you have to announce the perimeter of your actions. And yeah. when people in front of you are, uh, are aware, so you can, you, they, they can or not use you. So yeah, I agree. And, and this is actually a, a wise lesson, um, I think, that mm -hmm. if you uh, want a customer to have a, a great experience, you have to manage expectations before they get into the experience because yeah. uh, uh, then they know what they're, what they're getting and what they're not getting. Um, and I think satisfaction goes up. Um, <laughs> yeah. Is, is there anything, uh, I think we, we've tested uh, the SNCF bot uh, enough. It's not going to bring us any more. Um, yeah. Is there anything... Uh, like a lesson or a, a, an important thought you want to share with uh, viewers and listeners, which they can take away when they're building or strategizing bots, oh. uh, vo voice or text or both or combination. They can say, well, when you start, when you think about it, uh, this is important. Keep that in mind. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the, 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 
the very important uh, is for me uh, that we love humans so we do but so for me it's the 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 mantra don't uh, that I that I'm repeating, but what we have in mind when we do bots, it's for me the rule number one is um, be the user, and be <laughs> when you when you uh, are building a bot, you have to be at the and in the mind of the user, and uh, you are the user of your bot. So, so outside in, not inside so, out. Yes, yes. So every time, every time you are building a bot, um, for, for which the channel, uh, um, not not matter what channel you're 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 uh, you're in, um, you have to you have to be in the mind of the users, and uh, and um, and be very um, ah. Um, more than ethical be um, uh, um i i have the i have the word on the uh, say it in french i'll help the, you on, uh that is it's the same word in all language so okay. uh, yeah yes um um yes do be on the on the place of the people so so basically put yourself in the shoes of the user that's yeah, what you're saying thank you for the, this expression yeah, this is good uh, in, uh, um, of the, uh, the user uh, but that's the whole principle. If, if if you don't do that, how can you build a good bot? Ah, you know. Oh, I know. <laughs> no, but uh, you know, so, sometimes people, uh, it's very difficult to be in the other shoes, and uh, that is not very. Uh, it's not done for everybody. So, uh, maybe in the in the daily day life, uh, we we know that it's very difficult for for people to to think for others. That's what I like about the, the, the low code or no code platforms, because it allows you to uh, build fast and fail fast. Um, Cause you can bring stuff actually to the consumer really quick without a high investment and learn what works and what doesn't work. And I think in building bots, that's extremely important that we uh, get a better understanding of actual users um, failing or getting angry uh, because that tells you what not to do. Uh, sometimes that's more helpful than telling you what to do, um, if you don't yeah. really. Of course, and in the no-code uh, solution like ours, uh, what we um, what we wanted is to have a tool, uh, a box of tools uh, that allows to uh, know a technical person with. Uh, with a lot of technical knowledges, person of the I don't know uh, in the customer service uh, the director to to build a board because uh, he knows the, uh, what is the process of uh, his business and his uh, job, and uh, the only thing he has to think is about the customer. So um, the the tool of the of the, of the conceiving of, the, uh, of virtual assistants is only the way. Uh, for him to to bring uh, to bring this uh, this facil uh, this uh, easy easy way to 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 interact with his cust uh, uh, with, with with their customers, so uh, the the tool have not to add uh, complications. So we thought uh, a tool a very um, how to say it, um, very low low um, uh, easy to access, easy to handle, easy to access, low. Uh, uh, no, no difficulties. Um, can I conclude with uh, the conclusion yeah. that uh, um, we build bots uh, and we think of bots and we strategize bots um, because we love humans, uh, either on the company side and on the customer side. And, and that's also actually the ethical framework you need to uh, yeah. keep in mind. If you do it with the right intention, then uh, you're actually helping people, helping businesses, helping processes yes. uh, being made easier. And um, that's why I love bots because it, it yeah. opens a new world. Um, thank you, Katja, for this conversation. I really enjoyed it. Um, I hope you thank enjoyed. you very much for this invitation. I, I, I was it was very fun and I I love it. Yes, I love this conversation. And thank you for taking up the challenge, uh, even though you live in Paris, to do it in English. Um, that's uh, I uh, love doing it in English. Yes, of course. Well, 
but I love I love train morning in my English. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. What was it? that wasn't the purpose of the the, the podcast, but uh, I'm glad we did that too. Um, if someone uh, wants to find you, where can they find you? Uh, how can they find you? Yeah, uh, um, on LinkedIn, of course. Uh, well, or uh, it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> very. It's we'll put very your easy. we put your bio in the the link to your LinkedIn profile in the yeah, very, in the bio very, very, of the podcast. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, or uh, you have access uh, access on online my my, uh, my uh, information on uh, talker uh, dot AI. Okay. Uh, but LinkedIn is the the faster way to to contact me or on the on the website. Okay. Cool. Um, well, if anybody wants to see or listen to the podcast on YouTube, YouTube podcasters or on Spotify podcasters, you can find all the episodes. Thank you very much, Katja. 